2021. We are just picking up our apartment and then we're gonna head over to my parents to hang out so the dogs can have a little bit of a yard to run around in and then um oh i think we're gonna open gifts with um our friends uh today so not sure if if and when that's happening still but that is sort of the rough plan also vera has this really cute sleeper this pajamas um and she's like She's fitting into newborn stuff now, but soon she won't be and she won't be able to wear that pajama set anymore So I really want to get her the same ones into like a bunch of different sizes, so Maybe we'll do that. I don't know I'm going to show my method my like process. I don't even know what you call it for uh, system. My system for breast milk so I guess First of all, I'll just I'll just talk you through it right here. So, first thing I do uh, every day is pump, and then once I pump, I put them into the milk storage bags. They so can get like anywhere, Walmart, Target, Amazon, and then I make sure to write the date and the time that um, I'm putting that I pumped, and then um, I get all the I squeeze the air out of the bag close it and then I put it into the freezer right here um, so like this is one that I just did um, here at 11 and then we put it into the freezer lay it flat to freeze and then the next pumping session I do um, I take whatever's frozen so I'll put the new one here like I just did and then I'll take whatever one is frozen and put them I got these at Dollar Tree and put them in the back of this basket. So the way I have it organized is this is what I I grab for the next day to like thaw out. And then so it goes um, oldest to newest. So the newest is back here. Um, so it's like a first in first out thing and I'm always like rotating. So like when I take a bunch out here, then I put this chunk in the back of here, move these up, put put the frozen ones in the back of there so and it works perfect too because like the way she does it chronologically well you read online or someplace that like oh the, yeah the, your breast yeah. milk has different um nutrients or whatever different yeah. things that the help baby your baby throughout, throughout different the times of the day like in the morning maybe it'll give them like more energy and then at night it, ha it has like um melatonin or things in it to make them sleepy so like, you wouldn't want to be giving your baby morning breast milk at like mid or you know at nine or ten o'clock because that's just gonna keep them up yeah so, but it's perfect i'm sure it's not like drastic but yeah. i think it's just like one of those things that yeah so since i started doing this and putting the time i make sure that these are all chronological like they've said so like I pumped at 6 a.m 10 a.m so and these are pretty much the times she eats and also when you take once breast milk is out in room temperature, it can stay out for four hours. It's good for four hours. So, so that's my freezer situation. But like, um, oh yeah, I, that thing I too. put a note. Oh yeah. So this is a really cool magnet, um, and I love that it's a magnet, honestly, because like that makes total sense. Um, so it shows like when it's in the freezer, how long it could last for. It says you can keep them in there for up to twelve months. Um, but obviously the longer it's in there, the like it loses nutrients. Um, but these don't stay in there for very long because we're like constantly rotating and stuff. I don't have that much um, stored up. Some people have like a huge deep freezer and keep like tons of milk, but I don't think I'll ever get to that point, which is like fine. Um, so room temperature can keep up to four hours, like I said. Um, and then it says, Freezer, keep up to, oh, okay, so this is for the deep freeze. And then for freezer, it says um, six months. Um, again, I don't have that much. And then refrigerator, it says three days. So it just works out great because the system that I'm doing now, um, I made a sticky note for myself that each day, so it's like 11 now, and I just, I just pulled the milk, but what I do is I... Yes. 
is I take take this, so the oldest. I take this day, so the 29th. Grab all the 29th ones in this in this example. Grab all the 29th ones out, and then put them in this little bin that I got, and put them here. And this is what I pulled yesterday for today, and this is what I pulled today for tomorrow. So then I slide these over when these are thawed, and then tomorrow when I pull the new ones out, they'll be frozen on this side. So it works out really well. And sometimes there's like a little bit of ice, but you just kind of break it up, and sometimes you just have to leave out a chunk of ice. But I recommend getting a bin too, because we were just like throwing them in the fridge, but... A, if, it, if they leak, you're gonna have breast milk all over your fridge and clean it up. And so if it leaks in here, you just wash out this thing. Um, well, this one I actually got from Home Goods. Oh, okay. Um, and then, yeah, it's just, yeah, a way to kind of keep it away from everything. And I, I pull this out all the time, so it's just awesome. You're feeling a lot better today? Yeah, I feel a lot better today. I mean, I still feel a little off, but I'm way better than I did last night. It was horrible. Yeah feel a lot better. Um, I don't have a headache. I don't have a bit really back aches anymore or anything. I just kind of feel like, uh, you know how like you feel like after you were sick for a while and then you kind of feel like you're coming back, but you're not hundred percent. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, <laughs> but I feel, feel good. So I guess if you get the vaccine only, if you've had COVID before, that's what somebody said to me is that if you had COVID before the vaccine, that the side effects are way worse. And so I had it, Claire and I both had it in like October. So that might be why I got it so bad. Cause yeah, and also if you get the vaccine, don't work out. Yeah, I worked out the night I got it and my shoulder feels better too, so. That's good. Yeah, but, yep, so that's the vaccine news. What do you think, Petunia? Okay. Girl. I'm gonna make those eggs. She loves eggs. She probably hears that word and her mouth starts drooling. The outfit for today. Got my van shirt on. Leggings. <laughs> These are from college, clearly. Um, and my new Vans shoes. I love these so much. They're not like the normal checkered Vans. They're like the chunky ones. That's it. On our way to my parents' house. Yep. I don't have much Taking, to say. Uh, my car. Longest time we were taking Claire's car, so we're gonna start taking mine now that I'm legit. He's got insurance. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, we're going over to Claire's parents. Should be pretty fun. They're probably gonna try and feed us terrible food. Yeah. So I'm gonna so. try and stay strong. Yeah, I'm like starving, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay strong. But uh, they, their house is like a vending machine. Like they have all kinds of junk food. And there's yeah. all, there's nobody, no kids really live in there. My little brother lives with them, but he's 20. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's like, and then like, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's it's pretty much a vending machine. They just have chips and candy and Coke and like Pop tarts. Kind of pops. And then you just kind of like, when you get there, you're like, oh my God. Luckily, we've been pretty good at it. Not eating like everything they have there, but it's still really the dogs yet so we can show a video of how we feed the dogs at your parents uh, I brought the nail clippers and some nose stuff so I'm gonna clip their nails I think so Claire could probably get a video of that it's kind of funny I don't know that's always I think like a really big deal with pet owners is clipping their nails and stuff yeah a lot of people go and get it done somewhere else but we're, I don't know I feel like it's actually not that hard to do like a lot of people were like oh my god I'm so 
so scared to like hurt him and stuff. Yeah, if you if you know how to do it and you just are very careful, then it's fine. But I yeah. I think if you're not careful or we'll show you our my yeah. our method. Uh, <laughs> it's a one man method where it used to be a two person. It used to be a two two person, but I think I don't know how we start trying it this last time. We, I think it, it was with Petunia because she was just easier and then yeah. you were like, well, I'll just, I don't know. Honestly, you know what it probably was? It was probably when I was pregnant and I couldn't help. Oh, I think that's right. Because I, because yeah, usually yeah, yeah. the dogs would sit on my lap and Gabe and would just sit in front of me and, I remember you yeah, took video but I was video pregnant and so they couldn't sit on my lap. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so I pretty much just like hug them when they're facing forward and then I wrap my arms around them and then grab their paw and then clip their nails like that. So, you'll, well, you'll see. It's hilarious. When we get back home, we'll have some free time. We can record some stuff. I think if we should do anything else today. I don't know. I wanted to drop that stuff off at Goodwill, but we it's need New Year's. Groceries. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna stop saying that because every time I say I'm gonna order groceries, it doesn't freaking happen. But it's New Year's Day, so I don't really know what's open. Like if Goodwill's gonna be open or for how long. So probably just save all that. We need to go to UPS and Goodwill at some point and Target in the next week. So, it'll happen. But. Isn't it weird that like UPS is, or like, not UPS, you can get stuff notarized any like at a few different places, but it's just so strange like UPS is one of them. Well, it kind of makes sense because if you have important documents that need to be sent out, they just do it right there. Then you, they can just send it out for you. Especially if it's like, oh, I need to overnight this type of thing. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. We're coming up on St. Paul. Oh, great. I started the video when you can't even. That's okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. St. Paul is for we have to drive. To work. We used to work downtown St. Paul, and we drive through it every time we go to my parents. It probably looks super small. I'm yeah, sorry. it looks like super far away. It's but small. We'll but record when we get closer. Here we are, downtown St. Paul. Pretty cool. It's yeah. way smaller than me. Definitely smaller than Minneapolis. There's some good like restaurants and that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. We're gonna be honest. Sorry about my dirty windows. Yeah, his windows are kind of dirty. But uh, yeah, that's about all you see from between there from St. Paul from 35. There's a pretty cathedral. Oh, that's where the also where the Minnesota Wild plays. There's like a a stadium, the XL Energy Center is there and oh, yeah. um, there's this, I think there's uh, a few like music venues and stuff too, but there's a there's a dog park that we really like. Well, we'd only been there one time, but it's really cool. It's underneath this really tall bridge that goes across the uh, Minnesota River, but um, it's called High Bridge Dog Park. And last time we were there, we saw two other English bulldogs along, you know, and they were pretty pumped because seeing an English bulldog is pretty rare at a dog park, and especially like seeing you know, like two of them is like super rare. So that yeah. was really fun. And one was a puppy. Yeah. So anytime you see a bulldog anywhere, it's a good day. And this is how the dogs chill every time we go anywhere. Just chill in the back. Baby's all buckled in and they just sit next to her and wait until we get to, to where we're going. Watching Night at the Museum. Check it, Julia. Yeah, she went along with, with the whole ride. Just hanging out. Yeah, here's with Nani. <laughs> Remember, you made her made him mad that one time. And Adam's making Gus mad. Get him, Get him. You be nice. Just some Taipei, leave me alone. And Gus outside, and they're having a fun time with the basketball. We just watched a good job, Stories of the Fire Department of New York on HBO. It was really good. It was really sad. Pretty good, pretty sad, but really good. We talked about 9-11 and just like all kinds Steve of- Steve Buscemi was like the 
post or whatever. Yeah, like, he was like interviewing all the firefighters. And... Oh, bless you. Vera's like, gonna, I, she's gonna outgrow her newborn stuff pretty soon, I think. <laughs> yeah, she's not chunking, filling it up, but lengthwise, she's yeah. filling it up. I'm getting tall. So, went to my parents, watched Garfield. <laughs> That's watched. the first time I watched that. There's a bulldog in it, and he's really cute. Winston. It was so cute. And then... Play some guitar. Didn't eat very good there. And then we left. Ugh, and the dogs are sleepy. Oh my god, Petunia. Petunia is just stand. 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 Stand, stand up. You can do it. You're gonna be the first baby to walk ever. Like the earliest. <laughs> She's standing up all by herself, see? I really want to make a malt. Because we have chocolate ice cream and malt powder. Wanted to show real quick how I make my malts because I'm sure everybody does it different. Um, and I really like the way my malts taste and the texture. So, I... First of all, you want to get your blender out. We have a Ninja blender, which is amazing. Gabe got me this for... Gabe, did you give me this for Christmas or... Yeah, Christmas like three years ago. Like three years ago. And it's freaking amazing. It, oh, it's the best blender yeah, ever. Yeah, the blender, it's really cool. It's like got like blades like on like the bottom, middle, and like the top. And they're like actual like blades. So like they're if sharp. you clean it, you need to be careful because they're sharp. Okay, so we're getting our ice cream out. And you always want to overdo it on the ice cream. Now let me just say, this is not healthy. This is probably the worst thing for you. So just keep that in mind. To make you feel good. It makes you feel good, okay? It's a treat for God's sake. It's ice cream. Come on. Um, so you just want to overdo it on the ice cream. I'm not. I'm not about using vanilla and adding chocolate syrup. I feel like that's a cardinal sin. So, whenever I make malts or milkshakes, I like malts better. But um, whenever I make mine, I use chocolate ice cream. Gabe, did you want? Some? No, thank you. Okay, well, I'll be eating alone. And yes, I know this is a lot of ice cream. I don't care. Maybe I'll want some. Okay, so that's a yes. So Gabe wants some, which means we gotta put in extra. Might need to add ice cream. Okay. So, again, for the third time, this looks like a lot of ice cream, and that's because it is. It's just what you gotta do. Wouldn't you rather have more than enough than not enough, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so we got our ice cream in here and then the next thing we're gonna do is add our malt powder. So you go to the grocery store and buy like the cake, I think it's by like the cake and like the baking stuff. You get malted milk, okay? It might be backwards on this because it's in selfie mode, but it's malted milk. And I just estimate, I just pour it into the cap, and I, I mean, I love the malt flavor, so I'm like, let's just go heavy on that. But if you don't like malt flavor, you don't need to add the malt flavor. What is the malt flavor? I don't even know. How, how, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, um, it's like a different, like if you've ever had a malted milk ball, it's kind of like that flavor. But I don't like malted milk balls, so I'm kind of weird. Okay, and next we're going to add some cold water. Now, emphasis on the cold, okay? It needs to be cold water. So it's fine if you use your tap, but make sure it's on the coldest it can, it can be. I usually never measure it out, but for the sake of not moving the blender, I'm just gonna measure, use a measuring cup. So I added a cup of cold water. 
Put your lid on your blender. Check on it. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there, sunny boy. Blend again. Check. Oh yeah, that looks perfect, okay. When you have a good blender, you don't need to spend all day blending. Okay, and that's just the truth. That's just the God, uh, God, oh my God, God's honest truth. So what we get here, I don't know if you can see. What we get here is a nice frothy, when you pour it in here, you can see a nice frothy Ball. See how it's kind of like chunky and like kind of breaks apart. That's my favorite. That's what I like You can add your whipped cream All your all the toppings you want, but that is the way I like it mm. Bomb and it takes like two seconds So that's how I make my malts. I said I wanted to give you a reaction. Oh, okay. Um. And it turned into the baby crying. Mm, that's really good. Delicious. <laughs> wow, that, that couldn't have <laughs> sounded more crazy. Your baby. Yep. No, our baby's crying. She's hungry. She was just an absolute angel at Claire's parents today. Is he freaked out by that thing? Oh. <laughs> They're like, are you scanning me for you doing an MRI? Yeah, it looks like a like a detector, like a metal detector. All right, well, that's all I wanted was just for you to tell me that. Okay, it is really, really good though. I'm not gonna lie, it's amazing. It's delicious. She's not even eating. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. I don't think there's gonna be much going on for the rest of the night. Yeah, just watch another stuff on HBO. HBO's awesome. Oh Dude. no. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the flippity flip.